Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Today, we're going to be using Canva. If you've never used it before, I always choose Sign In with Google. Let's start by clicking Create a Design, and then we are going to choose the Instagram post. I see a lot of users ask about fancy fonts in Tinkercad. This is my favorite way. We're just going to add a text box. Because it is almost Easter, I'm going to do Happy Easter. Notice I notice I pressed Enter in between. And I'm going to add an exclamation point. Stretch it out to whatever size you want. And then we need to pick the fantastic fonts. We can do that by simply clicking this button. And you can type in words like calligraphy or open sans. I'm going to just show you some fun ones I've found. This Genty is pretty fantastic. And I love that it's connected. I'm going to stay with this default color. I am going to make them a little closer together. Notice we can adjust our line spacing. That'll turn out kind of neat in a minute. You could also choose to do each word separately. That's something you can explore after you watch the video. Notice if I delete the space and then I choose center aligned, they stay together better. Having the space after it made it so that that didn't line up. Once I've got my design the way I want, I simply take a screenshot. I have got it on a shortcut so I can just type the keys. Bring up my screenshot tool, quickly snag it. Notice I am using snag it. And then I'm going to do file export as a simple JPG in my downloads folder. Now we need to switch to the website picksvg.com. It is a simple converter. You can quickly hit upload a picture, grab that project, and then we need to find the right version. So the first time it tried it, it did Edge 2. I really don't want it to have these doubles. So I'm going to go down here to internal. This is the exact file I want. It's all black. Notice if we switch to internal two, it just gives us another version. You can explore those as much as you want, trying to find the one that you think is going to be best. When you're happy, simply hit download SVG. Of course, I'm going to keep mine in my downloads folder, and I'm going to call this Easter One and hit save. Friends, it's time to visit Tinkercad. If you've never used Tinkercad before, you can simply use sign in with Google. Right here, we're going to hit create. And we're going to choose 3D Design. I am going to name this Easter. And we're going to simply hit Import. And we're going to choose that file. When it comes in, I do want to pick Art. And then I want to pick the numbers that make sense to me. This whole bed is 200. So I'm going to make something that's 80 across. When I type 80 there, it automatically adjusts that one. And I can hit Import. It does take a moment to import. The fancier your stuff is, the longer it takes. But bingo, there is our happy Easter with the gray brown that comes from using an STL. Now, a few quick notes. If you misspelled it, you got to go back and redo the steps. But hopefully you caught that first. I am going to change the height. I'm going to just make this two. I am going to pick a cooler color. Let's go with a pink. Notice you can get all sorts of shades. So that's kind of a pink purple. And it looks pretty great. But. Watch this. If we do Control D, so now there are two of them. I'm going to do Control Z to put that back. And I'm going to change the fill mode of the second one to outer line. I'm going to make that outer line size one and press enter. I'm going to change to round and I'm going to max the quality. And I'm going to pick a fun color. It's a lot of steps. But as you can see, it was working the entire time. And all of a sudden, our happy Easter has got a fantastic outline. Now this is just for fun. You'd have to have a two color 3D printer to make these two color ones. Now I have had users ask, what about the middle? You can try simply doing duplicate and doing inner line and picking your numbers or duplicate and silhouette. That doesn't work here. I do have a fix, but check this out. Just for fun, I'm gonna give you a bonus skill. Watch this. If you click on your color, and it's a fancy one. You can click that color once and click somewhere else you want to put it. And bingo, your color gets copied. So that looks pretty neat. But what if you really want those inside lines? Simply return to pick SVG. Return to the edge checks and find one that you think is going to work well. Switch to strong features. This one is my favorite. So now I'm going to download that SVG. Once again, I'm going to put it in my downloads folder. We are going to call it Easter 2 and hit save changes. Return to Tinkercad and we're going to do those steps again. 
Once again, import, choose file, Easter 2, art, I'm going to still say 80, and press enter, and import. Notice this comes in with those inside lines you wanted. Let's pick an Easter green. I like that. And right there, we've got those fantastic edges. Watch this. Take our old one and do Control-D, Shift-Nudge to move it up. I'm going to grab those two, select L for a line, and because we kept those numbers all the same, it fits like a champ. How cool is that? I'm going to pick a cooler color for that just because I want it to really, really pop. And then if you want these outside edges gone, check this out. If we do Control D, I'm going to make this one the outer line. I'm going to set it to one. I'm going to, of course, set it to round. And I'm going to bump up the quality. And let's pick a fun color. Let's go out in the blues. And then I can click on that blue one. Make it a little bit lower or whatever I want. As we get the exact design we want. I'm going to type 0.25. Make that line a little bit more thin. And adjust the height to get the exact effect I want. I'm going to switch to a 0.25 nudge. Because I want that to pop up just above. And bingo. We have got super fun. Happy Easter signs. Could 3D print, of course, if you had a super fancy color printer. Of course, I am just making these signs for fun because I think they're pretty darn nifty. A couple of quick reminders. This is possible because both times I imported with size 80. You do want to keep those numbers the same so that it shows up super slick. Also, make sure you're patient as you're waiting for them to come in and render. Notice this one has a filled in piece you may not want. We get rid of those either in an image editor ahead of time, or you can simply bring out a cylinder like this. I would bump up the sides, Alt Shift to squeeze it close to the shape, F to fit view, and then you can use the black handles to nudge it to the exact size that'll fit. If you shift select that blue one, and do Control-G, it now cuts out the one that is behind. Notice this does take a moment because it is an SVG file, which is more complex for Tinkercad to work with. And after a moment, there is your cutout part. Of course, I would need to do it up here. Notice I did not have to be perfect because I'm not printing those inside lines. Anyhow, you can just get close, and it ends up making exactly what you want. When you're getting ready to export this for 3D printing, most multicolor printers, you have to export all three. So notice I've only got the blue. I would choose Export STL. And then I put them in my 3D modeling folder. This would be Easter 1. Then I can click on the green one. Notice double checking over here. Export STL. This one I would make Easter 2. And then finally the pink one. Export STL. And Easter 3, if you didn't already figure that out. Friends, remember, if you make something awesome, it's super cool to share it with me. Let me show you how quickly you can do it. The first thing I always do is click on settings and change my background to something cooler. I'm going to go with this blue, and I'm going to shut off the grid. That gives you a nice view of your project. Then you can simply return to the Tinkercad dashboard. That saves your project immediately. And then you can click this little gear, choose the properties, make sure your project has an awesome name. Of course, add a description. Note mine always has links and different ways you can reach me. And of course, add tags to help with searching. And I want to let you know if you ever type the tag HLMT23, I check that tag every day. And of course, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make your design public. I always tell it no derivatives because I like users to come up here, follow that tutorial and gain some epic skills. And lastly, prove you're not a robot. Once you're done, hit save changes. And after just a few minutes, users will be able to find your awesome design by simply clicking on the Tinkercad gallery and shutting off the staff picks. How cool is that? Of course, friends, once you find them, reactions are appreciated, and you'll find that tutorial 
in just a few minutes. Don't forget, you can also check the other links below, and I'll also highlight other awesome projects with the images. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you look down in the corner, friends, of course, you will find the built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. At the top of the page, you can find a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.